Mayor of London, Sadiq Khan, wants to scrap the London travel card, as stated in a recent engagement with stakeholders. But this cannot happen. And I'll explain why in this documentary about why they shouldn't scrap the travel card. Let's get into it. Well, the London travel card enables you to go around this Greater London area on the Tube. Here, this is a video of me taking it back in 2020. The bus, of course. And yeah, it allows you on that. The DLR in East London, obviously. The trams down in Croydon. Most national rail services in London. And they include also the Elizabeth Line. And also the London Overground as well. So it's quite a fee. And here's a map of it. It's not the full map, but that's the vast majority of the map. So there's what the travel card is and that explains about it. But the main reason TFL wants to scrub it is because apparently Sadiq Khan thinks it'll raise £40,000 in revenue. Like... What? Because, <laughs> I mean, the travel card is value for money. You know, I live in Warwickshire. You know, over in Birmingham, there's a day tripper. Over in Manchester, you've got a similar thing. Even with Liverpool. And we've got the London travel card. If London scraps the travel card, it'll be bad. You know, it'll be really bad, like... Just imagine people like that are visiting London for the first time. It's value for money. It is value for money, like unlimited travel. I've done so many travel vlogs with it down the years, you know. Why why would you scrap it? You know, I look at certain trips and I think to myself why do I like the travel card so much? And the reason is, is because when I did trips in 2019, 2020, all that kind of stuff, it was so crucial. It gives you that unlimited travel. And the fact TFL are trying to get rid of it is an absolute disgrace. Many of my trips to London down the years have been because of that travel card. The power of that travel card. It's better than using the Oyster card sometimes. Because <laughs> the Oyster card, you have to constantly top up. With the travel card, you don't even need to worry about that. You know, in London they have the Oyster card, in Birmingham they have the Swift card. I don't know what they have in Liverpool and Manchester, but, you know, like... That London travel card, when it was first introduced, it gets loads of people to London. It's easy to use. <coughs> you know, I've been on the Emirates airline, where you can get discounted fare for that. Well, it's not the Emirates airline now, it's the IFS Cloud Cable Car. But still, when it was called the Emirates Airline, I've been on it. You know, and you get a discount. <clears throat> the travel card is so crucial in many ways. Like, you know, it's it's really good. You know, you get to see different parts of London. You, know, you get to see parts of London that maybe don't have good access to public transport, maybe parts of the centre, you know, you go from the centre of London, Hot Oxford Street, the West End, out to the leafy suburbs and beyond. And as a Londoner myself, you know, that's what we love about London as a city. You know, it's a big city, so many different parts of it, so many diverse parts to it. That's what makes London really, really really good and the fact Mr Khan wants to scrap the travel card he's thinking about it 
is just disgraceful. You know, he's trying to take money out of people's pockets of the home counties, like Beds, Hearts and Buckinghamshire, because they're all community towns there. So he can put into TFL's big pocket just to raise more money because their finances, because obviously they were hit by COVID. But at the same time, you're just thinking to yourself, why would you scrap the travel card? It's easy to use. It's it's easy to buy, easy to get, it's cheap. It's value for money. You know, I've done trips to Birmingham using the day tripper. It's brilliant, it allows you to go on to go on the train, the bus, the tram. That's the best part of it, you know. So please Transport for London, please Mayor of London Sadiq Khan, do not scrap the travel card. That's me waffling on for five minutes about it. But there is it. There you go. Please tell me in the comment section below what you think about this. Because hopefully they don't scrap what has been a London icon over the past 30 years. Thank you very much for watching this documentary. See you for the next one. Bye-bye.